Shomo linalo sema, uh, having the subject that says usinyamaze do not keep quiet yako, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor do not remain silent tusome neno la mungu let us read the word of god katika wafalme wa pili from the book of second kings ile sura ya saba, chapter 7 mstari wa 3 hadi wa 9 verse 3 up to verse 9 and there were four leprous men at the entering in the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. And if we shall die there, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come, and let us fall into the host of Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Verse 5. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syrians, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Verse 7, wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried thence also and went and hid it. Verse 9. Then they said one to another, We do not do well. This day is a day of good tidings, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come, that we may go and tell the king's household. Turudie naomba nisome mstari wa tisa ambapo ndipo mahali tunasimamia. I'm going to repeat verse 9 because this is where the main th uh, theme of our subject is. Ndipo wakaambiana. That's when they told one to another. Mambo haya tufanyayo si mema. What we are doing is not good. Leo ni siku ya habari njema. Today is the day of good news. Na sisi tunanyamaza. And we hold our peace. Leo ni siku ya habari njema. Today is the day of good tidings. Na sisi tunanyamaza. And we hold our peace. Neno la Mungu linasema. The word of God says. Wakati uliokubalika nalikusikia. The acceptable time I heard you. Siku ya wokovu nalikusaidia. The day of salvation I helped you. Tazama wakati uliokubalika ndio sasa. Behold the acceptable time is now. Tazama siku ya wokovu ni sasa. Behold the day of salvation is now. Ni jambo la muhimu sana kumuhubiri ama kuhubiri injili kwa hali tulio nayo. It is the most important thing for us to preach the gospel with the situation we have. Usije ukatamani kuhubiri injili kuzimu kama yule tajiri. Unless you wish to preach the gospel in hell like the rich man. Mfano ule alio utoa yesu wa tajiri na Lazaro. The example that Jesus gave of a rich man and Lazarus. Huyo tajiri alipoteza fursa. The, la, uh, the, the rich man lost the opportunity. Na akatamani kuhubiri injili mahali pasipo pasa. And he wished to preach the gospel in a place that was not fit Leo ni siku ya habari njema. But today is a day of great Kama tidings. Kama utakuwa unanyamaza. If you just hold your peace. Unakosea sana. Then you're making a grave mistake. Ninakosea sana. I am making a grave Mistakes. Therefore, it is not good to continue in mistakes. We are to rectify them. In a normal situation, it would not have been easy for lepers to take the good news to the community that had isolated them because of the leprosy that they had. 
tunajua historia ama sheria ilikuwa inasema nini we know the history we know what the law was saying Bamba about the lepers akipatwa na ukoma that if somebody catches leprosy ni lazima atengwe na familia yake atengwe na jamii then this person must be isolated from his family hadi, and from the community hadi atakapokuwa amepona until when he is cleansed lakini bila kujali kilichowatokea but without caring what happened to them bila kujali a uh, ukoma wao without caring about their leprosy hawa wakoma baada ya kuona vitu vingi this lepers after having seen a lot of things baada ya kuona baraka za Mungu after having seen the blessings of God wakijua mjini kuna njaa knowing that there is hunger in the city ndugu dunia ina njaa na neno la Mungu beloved the world is hungry for the word of God haijalishi watu wana dini nzuri kiasi gani it doesn't matter how good our religions are ndio maana ile siku kuu ya Yesu alisimama ile siku kuu ambayo ilikuwa inachukua juma zima That's why in the in the in the, in the, feast, the day of the feast Jesus stood up katika injili ya Yohana sura ya saba. In the Gospel of John chapter 7. Biblia inatuambia. The Bible is telling us. Yesu alisimama. And Jesus stood up. Akasema yeye aonee kiuna aje. And he say whoever that is thirst should come. Maana pamoja na kutimiza desturi ya dini. Because with the fact that they were fulfilling uh, the norms of the religions. Watu bado walikuwa na kiu. People were still thirsty. Kwa hivyo watu wa Mungu therefore men of God. Kuna njaa. There is a hunger. Katika ulimwengu in this world. Na sisi ambao and we tumepata habari njema. We have received the good news. Kuna mambo ambayo tumeyaona. There are things that we have witnessed. Kuna mambo ambayo tumepata uso wa vunayo. There are things that we have experienced. Maana mtu aliyeokoka because the person who's born again ama aliyempokea Yesu or the person who has received Christ. Sio kwamba tu amesamehewa dhambi zake. It is not only that the person has been forgiven his sins. Sio kwamba tu amehesabiwa haki. And it is not only that this person has been counted righteous. Sio kwamba tu ametakaswa. And it is not only that this person has been Sio purified wa huru. it is not only that this person has been set free na kupata uhakika wa uzima wa milele and to get the assurance of eternal life unapompokea yesu when you receive christ macho ya mioyo yetu yanatiwa nuru the eyes of our hearts have been enlightened tunaona mambo ambayo mtu wa kawaida hawezi kuona then we are able to see the things that a normal person cannot see ndio maana paulo analiombea kanisa la efeso that's why paul is praying for ephesus Anasema macho ya mioyo yenu yatiwe nuru. May the eyes of your heart be enlightened. Mjue jinsi ulivyo utajiri na ukuu wake. That you may know his riches and his greatness. Lakini sasa tunapoingia kule ndani. But now when we enter inside, tunaona mambo mengi. We see a lot of things. Ambayo hayatatufanya tunyamaze. Which will not cause us to remain silent. Unaweza ukawa na jibu la mtu ambaye anapitia jambo fulani you could be have answer for somebody who's going Lakini through a certain situation yeye halioni but he doesn't see lakini wewe ulioingia ndani ya yesu but you who's entered in jesus unaona. you are able to see unaona elisha alifika mahali you see elisha got to a point yo akamwambia bwana nchi ni nzuri and say this country is beautiful is great lakini inazaa mapoza but the land bears forth elisha nothing akasema leteni chumvi and elisha said bring me salt akajua kwamba tatizo liko wapi and he knew exactly where the problem was akaponya pale kwenye chanzo then he healed the source mtu wa mwilini a physical man anaangalia mti ulikoangukia he would see where the tree has fallen lakini mtu wa rohoni but a spiritual person anajua ni nini kilichosababisha huo mti uanguke he knows what exactly has caused the tree to fall down ni vizuri sana macho ya mioyo yetu yatiwe nuru therefore it is very good for our eyes to be enlightened ili sasa tuwapatie jibu tuupatie jibu ulimwengu ambao hauna ladha so that we may offer answers to the world that is tasteless biblia inasema the bible says mambo ambayo jicho halijawahi kuyaona the things that eyes have not seen wala sikio halijasikia neither ear has not heard wala hayajaingia katika moyo wa mwanadamu wakati wowote neither have they entered into the heart of man at any time mambo hayo 
those things Mungu amewawekea wampendao God has reserved them for those Hallelujah. who love him Amen Je unampenda bwana Do you love the Lord Mungu amekuwekea mambo The Lord has set aside things watu wa kawaida hawawezi kuona Where my normal people cannot see Ni wewe tu ambaye unampenda bwana It is only you who loves the Lord Na sasa kwa sababu unampenda bwana Now because you love the Lord Mungu atajifunua kwako God will reveal himself to you Ulimwengu unahangaika The world is in trouble Ulimwengu hauna jibu The world does not have answers Lakini wewe unalo jibu But you got the answer Wewe unalo jibu la jirani You have the answer for your neighbor. Yesu Jesus is saying, Kondoo zangu, my sheep, wanaijua sauti yangu. They know my voice. Nami ninawaita. And I call them kwa majina yao. By their names. Wanaingia. They enter in. Na kutoka. And they go out. Wanapata malisho. They get pastures. Wakitoka, when they go out, wanapata malisho. They get pastures. Wakitoka in, oh sorry, when wakitoka they come in, nje, when they go out, wana malisho they have passions wana kitu cha kuambia ulimwengu something to tell the world wakati wote wamejawa all the time they are full hawawezi kunyamaza they can never remain Mano silent wana jambo la kusema because they have something to share biblia kwa nini hatupaswi kunyamaza why aren't we supposed to be quiet biblia inasema the bible says katika kitabu cha muhubiri in the book of ecclesiastes nane mstari wa sita ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 6 anasema mashaka yaliyo ndani ya mwanadamu ni makubwa the bible Bible says that uh, uh, the, the, the fear that is in men is so great. Kwa nini hayo mashaka ni makubwa? Why are these uh, fears are so great? Kwa sababu hajui atakayokuwa kesho. Because he don't know about what will happen Lakini tomorrow. Lakini watu wa rohoni, but the people who are in the spirit, wanajua hatima yao. They know their future. Wanajua nini kitakachokwenda kutokea. They know what will happen. Kwa sababu roho wa Mungu kazi yake moja, moja wapo. One of the functions of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Sema, Jesus said, "Mambo yajayo atawapasha habari zake." He shall let you know about the future things. Wakati Elia alikuwa karibu kutwaliwa, when Elijah was about to be taken. Wana wa manabii The sons of the prophets Elisha, They were asking Elisha Je unajua ya kwamba Do you know Bwana wako atatwaliwa leo That your Lord is going to be raptured today So that he may not be a master over Elisha you hakutaka wampotezee muda Elisha did not want them to lose his time Aliwaambia nyamazeni ninajua He told them straight away shut up I jirani yako ninajua kesho yangu Tell your neighbor I know my tomorrow Wala si babaishi I'm not being wavered Wala si okoki nikifika mbinguni I'm not going to get born again when I get to heaven Ninajua I know Nini kinakwenda kutokea katika ulimwengu wa roho Bwana atasema na wewe Bwana atakuambia labda kuna mengine hatakuambia kwa ajili ya utukufu wake lakini katika hali ya kawaida atakuambia sasa now tuangalie sababu kuu tatu let us look unto three major reasons zinazotufanya tutulie ama tunyamaze kimya which are causing us to hold our peace hatupaswi kunyamaza we are not supposed to be quiet lazima tuseme we've got to say it maana hawa wali wakoma wakasema because the lepers say leo ni siku ya habari njema today is a day of good news nasi tukinyamaza and if we remain silent itakuwa ni jump hadi kutakapopambazuka until when it's morning itakuwa we would be very late ndugu kuna wakati utakuwa umechelewa beloved there, there, there are times whereby you would be very Ndiyo, late ndio nyakati ama fursa haziko pale siku zote yes times or opportunities are not there kuna all the ukuta time. utatuzuia there is a wall that will hinder ukuta us ukuta wa umri utakuzuia the wall of age will hinder ukuta you ukuta wa siasa za mataifa utakuzuia the wall of world politics will ukuta hinder you ukuta wa fedha na mambo mbalimbali the wall of finances and various things Asi will pia hinder pia you. Health will hinder you. Lakini maadam But as long as leo, you have an opportunity today, do not hold your Nini peace. Tufanya tunyamaze. What is it that is causing us to hold our peace? Moja, Number one, ni kutokuwa na cha kusema. Lack of having something to say. Kwa nini? Why? Biblia inasema kila aliye na mwana anao ushuhuda. The Bible says that whoever has a son has a testimony. Kwa nini mtu anakoswa na cha kusema? Why is it somebody lacks something to say? Ni kushindwa kuingia ndani pale palipo na kiti cha rehema. It is because 
these people have failed to enter into the inner chamber where there is a city throne of mercy. Many Christians have remained on the outer court. You know the outer court, the place was not covered on top. They were just relying on the light from the sun. And out there, there was a lot of noise. Everybody is preparing their offerings. But also, you're not supposed to remain at the holy place. Because the holy place, there are also many things. There you see the light that has been prepared by man. There is a table that have placed there seven candlesticks. In order for those lights to be on, it is you have to keep putting oil in them. But when you enter into the holy place of holies, it does not need natural light. And it does not need the light that has been made by humans. It is God himself that enlightens you. And God is telling Moses, I will not meet with you in the outer courts. I will not meet with Aaron at the the holy place. But I will meet with him at the holies of holies. People of God, we must enter into the spirit world so that we may be able to hear what the Lord is saying. So that we may be able to get something to tell others. And to say that the Lord is saying we have many false prophets who are saying that says the Lord whereas this is the Lord who has said it. The Lord is not going to speak with you when you are a physical person. The Lord is not going to speak to you if you have natural character. But he will speak unto you when you are a spiritual person or you are in the spirit. The Lord is taking you out of the world. But you must get rid of the world in you. You must learn to be holy. You must learn to listen to God. You must have a zeal to read the word of God. You must have a zeal for people's spirits. Jesus said to one person whom he healed and this person wanted to follow Jesus. In Mark 5.19 Jesus told him go home to thy friends to your people and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and he has had compassion on thee. The Samaritan woman ran to their village. And she said, come and see the person who has told me about my issues. What has Jesus done to you? When you you see the world is going up and down. And you have received the joy of salvation. Jesus has healed you. Jesus has set you free. You see people are going up and down. It is up to you to tell them that do not suffer. I was the same. But when I met Jesus, Jesus transformed me. I was a fighter. My marriage was, not, was in shambles. But when I received Christ, my marriage is peaceful. My husband is settled at home. Come and meet with this man. When you read from the book of Kings, Sura ya Pili, King, first Kings, Mstari wa Pili, second, na watatu, second Kings chapter 5, Naomba tusome. 2 Kings chapter 5. Na washami waliukua wametoka vikosi vikosi waka chukua mfungwa moja kijana mwanamuke kutoka inchi ya Israel na ye aka muhudumia mkewe na amani. 2 Kings chapter 5, read from verse 2. 
unaweza kuangalia pia ukutani kama tumeenda haraka unaweza ukaona sorry 5552 okay second kings chapter 5 uh, starting from uh, verse 2 Okay, 2 Kings chapter 5 and this starting from verse 2. Uh, Here I am. The Bible says, and the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought uh, and had brought away a captive out of the land of Israel, a little maid, and she was she waited upon Naaman's wife. Akamwambia bibi yake, laiti bwana wangu angekuwa pamoja na yule nabii aliyeko Samaria maana angemponya ukoma wake and she said unto her mistress would god my lord wear with the prophet that is in Samaria for he would cover him of his leprosy recover him of his leprosy sasa angalia huyu binti now look unto this uh, maid mtumwa, with the fact that she was a slave. She used the opportunity she did not remain silent. She saw on how Naaman would scratch himself. He, she saw on how Naaman was suffering. He was a great man, army man, but he had challenges. Do not look to, on people on the outside they got good cars they got good houses they got good jobs but they have leprosy they have sin that is torturing them in their lives but you got something to tell them you got a word to say because you've been set free because you've been delivered because you've been forgiven because you've been healed you've got something to say and he say i wish je unatamani do you wish kwa laiti huyu mtu angekutana na yesu ambaye nimekutana naye i wish this man would have met jesus whom i have met wangapi wamekutana na yesu how many have met jesus kama umekutana na yesu mshangilie yesu if you met with jesus shout for him ukikutana hutanyamaza if you meet with him you will not yesu anasema jesus is saying yeyote ambaye jiwe litamwangukia whomever that the stone will fall upon litamsaga tikitiki it will crush him completely litamtengeneza it will make fix him lakini aliyatakaye liangukia but the one who will fall on the atakuwa stone atakuwa amejikwa he would have stumbled ni kwamba amewahi kukutana na yesu lakini si kwa ukamilifu he has ever met Jesus but not in perfection. Langu, My request. Mchana wa leo. This afternoon. Ni kwamba Yesu is that Jesus. Atusage sage. That he may crush. Atutengeneze. He may mend us. Ili tusinyamaze. So that we may not Maana be silent. jambo la kusema. Because there is something to Sasa share. Sasa angalia matokeo ya kutokunyamaza kwake mstari wa 17. Now look unto the result of this uh, damsel being uh, able to speak. Mstari wa 17 sura ya 5:17 Naamani akasema Naaman say Kama sivyo lakini mtumwa wako na apewe mzigo wa udongo wa nyumbu wawili kwa maana mtumwa wako hatatoa sadaka tena ya kuteketezwa wala dhabihu kwa miungu mingine ila kwa Bwana and Naaman said, Shall there not then, I pray thee, be given to the servant two mules, burden of earth? For thy servant will henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other gods, but unto the Lord. Unaona kwa ushuhuda wa binti huyu. You see, because of the testimony of this man, the perspective in the life of Naaman was transformed. Nafikiri aliomba huo udongo ili ajenge madhabahu. I think he had asked for this uh, soil from the earth so that he may build the altar. Akasema maana mtumwa wako kuanzia sasa. He said, because thy servant from now, hata taabudu miungu mingine tena will not worship any other gods lakini chanzo ni nini but what is the source binti mdogo tu just a little damsel akasema she said huyu bwana wangu this my lord angekutana if only he would have met unajua waamini na watumishi wa mungu ambao mungu angeweka juu yako you know those people whom the lord would have placed upon you umwamini yesu wako and believe in your jesus kwa bana nguvu na na uweza that is god power and might 
that this man only if he would have met with Jesus all his sufferings would have come Ebu to an Daniel, end. Let's look under the book of Daniel chapter 3 and verse 29. They also did not remain silent. Listen to Daniel chapter 3 verse Basi, 29. Basi amri ya kuwa kila kabila ya watu na kila taifa na kila lugha watakao nena neno lolote lisilo pasa juu ya huyo mungu wa Shedrak, Meshak na Abdenego watakatwa vipande vipande na nyumba zao zitakuwa jaa kwa kuwa hakuna mungu mwingine awezae kuokoa na mnahi. Therefore I make a decree that they people, that every people, nation and language which speak anything amiss against God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sword. These are the warriors whom the, uh, writer, the writer of Hebrews is saying. They changed uh, the, 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 the rulerships of kings because of their stance. And they spoke that which they knew. It doesn't matter they were in slavery in, in, in Babel. But they did not remain silent. And they said, King, we don't need even to answer you. We are not going to worship your gods. Neither will we bow down before them. For we know our God will deliver us. And even if it does not deliver us, it doesn't matter that he doesn't exist. But we are not going to be ready. By, by them saying so, they transformed the history of Babylon. Before the law was this way. Whoever that will not worship that image. He shall be cut into pieces. Because they did not remain silent. The history was changed. And the king says. Now I declare. Not only worshiping. Whoever will speak words against. Which will not go according to these young men. Neither concerning their God. They will be cut into pieces. And their houses will be made into a dunghill. Their houses will be dunghills. Why? Because there is no any other God. Who is able to save like this. Shout unto Jesus. Men of God. Do not remain silent. Tell your neighbor, don't hold your peace. Don't be quiet. People are suffering. People are suffering. And you got the answer. The second thing. What is it that is making us to be quiet? Therefore, in the first point, tell the Lord, give me something to say. You have many things that the Lord has done unto you, whereby somebody else does not have. They even don't know what to do. But the second thing, it is fear of taking risk. Many of us do not want to take risk. Jesus is saying, He who wants to save his life shall lose it. An example of the person who was given the talent. One was given five. And then worked on the pounds. And then he risked his life. The second one was given two. And he worked on them. But the third one was given one. And he said, How can this be? If, this, if I lose this, how will this be? I'll not speak. Others also have reached to that point that, oh, I'll just be praying. The prayers are powerful. It is true. But God has given you a mouth so that you may speak. It doesn't matter what will happen. You've got risk yourself. 
Kumbuka, because remember, sifa moja wapo ya shetani, uh, one of the characteristics of the devil na nyoka, that he's been likened unto a serpent ama anapiga vitu hai. is that he would bite the living things. Kama una shauku kwa ajili ya Mungu, if you have that zeal for the Lord ajili ya roza watu, and for the people's spirits you will be hurt. Utasemwa vibaya. People will speak evil Yeremia against you. Yeremia ama Ezekiel kama sikosei. Jeremiah au ama Ezekiel. Thank you Lord Jeremiah or Ezekiel who say. Akasema say. Niliposema ninyamaze. When I say that I remain quiet. Nilishindwa kufanya hivyo. I couldn't do it. Kwa sababu lile gombo nilipolila. Because when I ate the gospel. Ilikuwa tamu kama sega la asali. It was so sweet like honey. Lakini tumboni mwangu. But in my stomach. Ilikuwa chungu kama pakanga. It was so bitter. Kwa hiyo anapoongea. So when he speaks. Anajiinulia maadui. He raises up enemies against him. Because God has sent Sio tu kufariji not only to comfort kuonya, but to warn tusema hasira ya Mungu juu ya wenye dhambi speak the wrath of God over the sinners John the Baptist ilimgaribu kichwa kichwa chake it costed him his head kwa sababu alimwambia yule mama yule baba he told that that man si halali wewe kuwa na mke wa ndugu yako it is not right for you to have your watu wa Mungu brother's wife Watu wa Mungu people of God tunalo jukumu we have a responsibility ulimwengu, to warn the world kuambia iliyo kweli to tell them the truth ni mwanabii Ezekiel anasema Ezekiel says Mungu anamwambia God is telling him umwanapo mtu mbaya when you see an evil man anafanya jambo baya is doing something evil na wewe husemi and you don't speak neno la kumuonya the word to warn him huyo mtu mbaya atakufa the, the evil man will die katika dhambi zake in his sins lakini damu yake but his blood nitaitaka mkononi mwako i will claim it from your hands ndio maana paulo akasema that's why paul said na wewe na wayahudi that i have to do something for the jews na wewe na wayunani i have to do something si for the siwezi kunyamaza i cannot remain silent ole wangu nisipoihubiri injili wo and to me if si i don't preach the gospel i cannot remain Hata silent kama itamsababishia kupigwa mawe even if it will cause for him to be stoned maana unapo unapohubiri because when you preach unaposema habari njema when you speak the good news unaharibu biashara za watu you destroy people's business unaharibu wateja wa watu you destroy people's customs unapoleta watu katika when you bring people into the kingdom of God the devil also will make them to get lost now because of that battle maybe there are too much words from people do not be afraid of those words you know Jesus has never told his disciples beware of the devil he told them beware of human beings the devil is a spirit we will look for a body to enter so that he may use the body therefore don't mind what will happen to you take a step others are saying lord you've saved me wangu nitautuza i will take protect my Lakini salvation sitajihusisha na mambo ya watu but i'm not going to deal Mimi with people's issues. i will be quiet Lakini, but hupaswi kunyamaza you're not supposed to endelea kuongea continue to speak pasta sauti yako raise up your voice don't be quiet waambie watu wangu kosa lao tell my people their mistakes waambie watu wangu kosa lao preach my gospel to them the people tume paulo anamwambia timotheo apostle paul is telling timothy usinyamaze do not hold Usinyamazi. your peace. Do not hold your peace. Unajua Esther taifa la Israeli lilikuwa katika hatari. You know the nation of Israel was in danger. Huyu Mordecai na Haman Hamani You know Haman alikuwa na chuki dhidi ya Wayahudi. He was hating the Jews. Hasa kwa kuona Mordecai and simply because when he saw Mordecai hainami mbele zake is not bowing before him maana muyahudi haruhusiwi kuabudu kitu kingine chochote because Jew is not supposed to worship anything else ilo jambo likamuudhi so that really made him mad hasira ya ulimwengu dhidi ya watoto wa Mungu the wrath of the world against the children of god si kwa sababu ya kitu kingine it is not because of anything else kwa sababu wanashindwa kufikia kiwango cha maisha unayoishi but it is because they are failing to reach the level of life that you're living watakuchukia tu they will 
hate you Hata bila sababu, without any reason. And they will work out ili wa so that and they worked out so that the Jews Kama may be destroyed. Na ya nazi. Like the way it was done by the Hitler. Nazis during the Hitler time. And they decreed. And Mordecai knew that Esther is a queen. Akamwende. And he went to hear her and say, my daughter, we are in danger. It has already been uh, written that we should be dead. You know other Christians, they even don't see the danger. Because they're not in the spirit. And he says, so what should I do? My time to go into king's place has not come. And you know the law is until I'm allowed. Mordecai alikuwa mkali kwake. And Mordecai was so na mimi ninaomba fierce to her. Na mimi naomba siku ya leo. And I'm praying today. Roho mtakatifu awe mkali juu yetu. The Holy Spirit will be do this. Atuchome kwa moto wa Roho mtakatifu. That he may burn us with the fire of the Holy Spirit that we may not be set on. And he told her, "Aha. Naona unacheza. I see you're playing. Ukinyamaza wakati huu. If you remain silent during this time. Maana ujui ni kwa nini umeingia katika Because you don't know why you are in this position at this particular season. You don't know why. But if you remain quiet, God will make another way. Why is, that God, why is it that God should raise somebody else? Tell the Lord, use me. Tell the Lord, use me. Use me. I am ready. Those words, they lifted up something in Esther. She didn't remain quiet. And she said, okay, enter into prayer. I will also enter into prayer. After the prayer, whatsoever may come, I will enter into king's chamber. May today, may you say today, that if I don't get job, but I will preach the good news to my boss. I will tell him that Jesus says, you know, others, because they are trying to maintain they don't speak the good news. I'm not saying you shouldn't have wisdom, but it is a must for you to say that which is in you. That this office, if we would have commended it to the hands of the Lord, if we would have followed the law of the Lord, our things would have changed. Do not remain quiet. The third thing, that which causes us to remain quiet, is to despise yourself. Gideon when Gideon was told shuja, about, uh, he was told that greetings to you, Almighty Man of Valor. And nini? he said, Are they talking about somebody else or me? Akasema, Kama ni mimi. And he said, If it's me, Yako api maku ya mungu. where are the great deeds of Walio the Lord? Baba zetu. The ones that our fathers Wengi have told us. Many of us are still Yako asking yale ourselves. Abayo mungu where are the great things that the Lord did in the first mungu church? But God is telling us huo uwezo huo. that we should go in that might, in that power that we have, the little that you know. You know, you can never be given confidence while you're just sitting. When you start to speak, the heavens will back Yesu you up. Mkono. Jesus will back you up. Uh, Musa akasema, and Moses said, I cannot speak. Si in real si sense, bubu, it's not that he was dumb, mzito, but he was stammering. Akasema, but he said, Mimi siwezi. I can't. Mungu akasema, God said, Mimi I'm sending you. Kwa nini? You know why? Musa nini kule misi. Moses knew what he did in Egypt. Hofu. That could give him Lakini fear. Ni but can I tell Mungu you something? God is ready to zako. change your news. Mungu yuko tayari. God is ready ready to change yako. your history. Na kwako. Start with your home Wala and do not despise Yeremia yourself. Akasema, and Jeremiah said, I am a child. Mungu wakamuambia, and God told him, I chose you Tangu since the time yako. you were in your mother's womb. And I've placed you upon the nations. I've been called to impact the nations. I've placed you upon the nations. 
nations, mataifa ambayo the nations that are in trouble, they are destroyed. Yao. They have their own gods. They have their own norms and culture. They have their own systems of Lakini life. Lakini nakutuma, but I'm sending ili kungoa, you so that you may uproot, kubomoa, you may destroy, kuharibu, you may na kuangamiza. You may also kill and remove everything. I've placed you ili kungoa, so that you may uproot, ili kubomoa, so that you may pull down, ili kuharibu, so that you may destroy, na kuangamiza. and you may completely Baada destroy. Hapo, and after that, I've, been, I've given you ability wa kujenga, to build na and to plant afresh. Those are the things that have been given to us. Apostle Paul is telling Timothy, neno, preach the word. Be ready. Wakati ukufao. On the right season. Na wakati usio kufao. And out of season. Haijalishi ni hali gani ulionayo. It doesn't matter what situation you have. Muhubiri Kristo. Preach Christ. Katika hali ulionayo. In the situation you have. Usinyamaze. Do not hold your peace. Na Mungu akubariki. And may God bless you. Amen. Usimame. Let us stand. Mwambie Bwana. Tell the Lord. Nipe shauku. Give me that zeal kwa ajili yako for you na kwa ajili ya waliopotea and for those who are lost yule mtu aliambiwa na Yesu that man was told by Jesus usinyamaze do not hold your peace enenda nyumbani kwako go into your household kwa watu wako to your people and your Kijijini friends kijijini kwako in your village uwaambie tell them ni mambo gani ambayo Bwana amekutendea great things that the lord has done unto you na jinsi ulivyohurumiwa how he has had mercy Bwana ametuhurumia the lord has had mercy Bwana ametutendea mambo mengi the lord has done many things Bwana amefanya mengi katika maisha yetu the lord has done many things in our lives mwambie Bwana tell the lord nikuse tena touch me again pengine umefukia talanta yako maybe you have buried your talent kwa imani uifukue by faith uproot it uifanyie kazi and then work on it unacha kusema you got something to say ingia ndani ya Yesu enter in Jesus utapata malisho then you will get past you utapata cha kusema you get something to say usiogope kujihatarisha fear not to risk yourself wala usijidharau and do not despise yourself hebu omba mbele za Mungu wakati waimbaji wanaimba kwa sauti ya chini mwambie bwana niguse tena pengine umepoa unaweza ukatapikwa usije ukawa vugu tuwe moto kwa ajili ya bwana hallelujah